All right, a lot of packing for a family and a little baby. Food for three days, Osprey pack, first aid kit, firebox and stove, fishing gear, camping chairs, paddle boards. That's my Nakwa light for going paddle boarding at night. Paddles, river gear, dogs, dog mat, car seat. All right, so we're hitting the road. We are stuck in traffic, just waiting to get out of the city. Eating gummy bears, Grace is in the back plane. All things are going well. We are heading on the ultimate road. We're gonna try out the ultimate road trip to Idaho to see seven waterfalls. You basically stay on I-15 to I-84 from Salt Lake City. We're gonna stop in Twin Falls. I see like four waterfalls there. We're gonna go to thousands, uh, thousand Springs. Springs Resort tonight. Then we're gonna go see Hagerman Falls tomorrow. Then we're gonna go up into Oregon just a little bit. Anyway, it's about 14 hour drive. It's a three day trip and we're stoked. We got the tent trailer in the back. We got Max. Excited to do this trip. Say hi. Hi. Are you happy? Happy. So we got in here late last night, set up the tent trailer. Just barely woke up, getting started for the morning. A little bit windy this morning. But that's the view we have. That's the Snake River. And across that river over there is waterfalls. And that's where we're gonna go after breakfast. All right, so it's crazy windy today, but we're going to, we're walking over to the boat to the Thousand Springs to go see those waterfalls over there. All right, just made it to our campsite uh, in Meridian. We're gonna go see Jump Creek Falls tomorrow. That's the Snake River. Just got done setting up a trailer. It's our campsite for today. Super nice grass. Today or tomorrow, we're gonna hit Jump Creek Waterfall. It's about 20 minutes from here, but we're in the wine country of Idaho and uh, Snake River Resort, I think is what it's called. But anyway, freaking well-maintained and a great spot for a little trailer. <laughs> Whoa, that's deep, huh? Jump, jump, jump. Oh my, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. Oh yeah, splash, splash. Oh, muddy. <gasps> We're gonna go paddle boarding. What do you think about that? How do you want to do that? We're going to go paddle boarding to an island. Me and Gracie paddling. We found a sweet island. What do you think? Is it fun? Hi. Say happy. Paddle, paddle. Paddle, paddle. Good job. Yeah. Yeah, this sweet island right here. No, that is not mud. That is just 
shells. That's mussel shells. Go to mama. Yay. Ready? Go get it. Can I have one? Thank you. Mm. Okay, dinner tonight is kebabs. Looking, <laughs> looking good. Woke up this morning, the tire on the wheel looked a little low. So I took it to the gas station to fill up 15 PSI and I find out that there's a, a nail in the tire. Shoot, I don't even know how long we were driving without with that nail in the tire. But anyway, we're getting it fixed now. We're here at a local place just getting it taken care of. Baby Grace is sleeping in the back of the car. And uh, we're going to get on our way to Jump Creek Falls. Every adventure has something unplanned. That's what makes it fun. So we got the tire repair. We're back on the road. Headed Jump Creek Falls. Lindy's getting Grace set up with a movie right now. And man, that was lucky. I mean, that took us like 15 minutes and then we were back on the road. So we it's a Saturday too. So usually those tire places are crazy busy. But anyway, we're uh, 15 minutes away from the falls and gonna hike and check it out. Here we go. Road into Jump Creek goes through a lot of uh, private land and there's some pretty aggressive signs posted but that canyon up there is where we're going wow someone really doesn't want you to go on their property all right day three and we're finally getting to a waterfall so this is jump creek falls it's a short half mile hike up we're in the middle of a desert. It's kind of cool. Um, flat tire on the way in, got that repaired very quickly. And I guess we did go to another waterfall, Haberman, but you can see it across the river and we didn't actually hike to it. But this one, we are gonna hike to, so. It's a pretty cool canyon. Looks like, I don't know, basalt rock or something. Anyway, check it out. Wow, this is cool. Wow, it's a lava tube. Yeah, this is basalt, man. It's cool. That was pretty fun. Went for a little swim. Definitely worth it. I think it's probably like a 0.25 hike. Um, water's really cold, but definitely worth it. Whoa! 
Okay, here we go. Good job, Grief. Nice hiking, little lady. Whoa! <laughs> Good job, Gracie. Say hi, camera. Say hi, hi. Okay, we just pulled up. This is waterfall number three on our waterfall tour, and we're at Malad State Gorge. And did you say Liz? Liz. I'm talking to Liz right now, <laughs> and she, and she's she. This place sounds sweet. Tell them a little bit about Malad State Park. Okay, it's a five-mile drive. You have six different stops. You walk over the canyon 170 feet in the air, go down to stop number two, turn around and look at the 60 foot waterfall you didn't get to see because it's under the bridge. And, that, and that's I-84, right? That's I-84. That it's under. That it's under. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's under the bridge you walk over. Oh. It's under the bridge you walk over. Oh my over. gosh. Okay. And then stops number three and five have really nice overlooks of the gorge. But you get to stop number six, and if the wind is blowing the right direction, that waterfall will come up and kiss you in the face. Woo wee! <laughs> Hot diggity! Yeah, and it's five dollars. All cash. that for five bucks. <laughs> yep. All Should that we go check bucks. it out? Sure. Let's go check it out. All right, waterfall number one at Malad State Gorge Park. <laughs> Wow. Wow. That is so cool. Dude, this doesn't make me nervous, but now that I'm holding Grace, I'm like... Okay. The other side. Okay, so she said to keep walking. And there's a waterfall directly underneath this bridge. Yeah. Okay, coming up on the edge. Max, get away from the edge. Jeez. Oh, sweet. All right, waterfall number three. Pretty awesome. Ah, look at the elevation drop on this gorge. Wow. That thing. Oh man, like it's crazy. Right now, standing this close to the edge of that with you. Yeah, let's go back. Let's go back. Wow, just beautiful. Big one. Another waterfall. Yeah. yeah. The Lad State Park's pretty sweet. But we haven't been kissed yet by a waterfall. Huh. Whoa. Look at that. So cute. I love how it's just like quiet, like mist. That's waterfall. Oop. I'm, yep, there it is. Getting kissed. Yeah. Woo! We 
We did it. Well, we got kissed. Good. It was awesome. awesome. That is well worth the detour. Yeah, I, I, it really is. Yeah. You know, it's a hidden gem. Everybody thinks that that little thing you see from the freeway is all that's here. Right. But there's a ton here. There's a ton. Yep. Lizzie, thank you so much. That was a pleasure. You're welcome. Have an awesome Everyone day. Everyone come down here to the state park and check out Malad State Gorge. It's awesome. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. See ya. All right. Just leaving the KOA. First time staying at the KOA, the KOA. Oh, brother. And uh, our campsite was pretty bad. It wasn't, it wasn't pretty bad, it was fine. But the amenities at the KOA are amazing. So we had a good night, it was a little cold. Uh, now we're headed to Twin Falls. Well, we're in Twin Falls right now. We're gonna head to Shoshone, the Shoshone Waterfalls. And um, we're gonna canoe with Grace and with Max. So today's gonna be an interesting day. It's 10 a.m., hopefully this takes us just a couple hours. And then we're back on the road headed home. We made it to Twin Falls. We're down here at Centennial Park. We just rented a kayak, sit on top. And we're gonna see if we can make it to Pillar Falls. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> waterfall right here. Wow, look at that waterfall, Gracie. You see the waterfall? video doesn't do it justice. Hey, we made it. Prime Bridge. Boop. Right there. And we're just going to go on a little waterfall hike. Lindy's doing all the work. It's so cool. Well, Grace is ch officially chilling, but we found another one waterfall. Shot, shot. Check that out. Dude, this canyon is unreal. Okay, we made it, we're at Pillar Falls, and this is so much better in real life. Like, this is a must do. Very, very cool. Very cool. So cool. Just finished our kayak rental and I want to give a shout out to AWOL. They are right here at Centennial Park. Uh, rental on a tandem's like 50 bucks. They watched Max for two hours while we went out and paddled. And the whole staff super friendly, super nice. So thanks a lot AWOL, you guys were awesome. All right, lunch after paddling. Honey, what are you making over here? Sammy's with spinach from my garden. Wow, no way.
that spinach is good. Are you happy? Where's Grace? Oh, there you are. <laughs> okay, so this is waterfall number, what are we at? Five? Waterfall number five. Just up from uh, Centennial Park, so this one's easy, but we hear that you can hike behind this one. Well, we were going to go to those falls, but the limiting factor here today is Max. <laughs> Sand and the asphalt's too hot for him. So we just got to Shoshone Falls, and they only take cash and we don't have any cash so if you come make sure that you have cash plus grace is sleeping so we're just gonna do a drive-by go to the scenic overlook but man this makes me want to come back and actually get in the water you can also do some motor boating up above the falls which looks pretty cool walking over to take a look at the falls and there they are Oh, we missed the big. There's, it's two steps. That's the first one, and then the second one's like down in here. It's pretty cool, though. Oh, there's two steps. I didn't see that. So we got to Shoshone Falls, and we noticed that while we were at Centennial Park doing the kayak tour, someone jacked our uh, spare tire off the back of the RV, or off the back of the tent, rather. Freaking sucks. Why are people so stupid sometimes? But we are headed back. So now we're gonna shift gears and tell a story. Yesterday when we pulled into the KOA, Lindy, what did you tell me you wanted to do yesterday? You told me you wanted to do this yesterday, speaking for today. What did you want to do? What did I want to do today? Yeah. Instead of do uh Pillar Falls and the bridge. What did I say? Yeah. Always finish your trip. You never know. Our trip ended pretty, pretty sweet. That was probably the highlight of our trip, actually, huh? Well, when our, when our tire got jacked. Well, that was a definitely a low. But Pillar Falls, doing Pillar Falls. Sometimes you just have to push right through an adventure because that's what really makes it an adventure and you break through and it's worth it. So don't always give up when the going gets tough. Keep going because it's, it'll end up in most of the time. Sometimes it just gets even worse, but most of the time it gets even better. <laughs> 